welcome to the video. Um, in this video, I am modding uh, an iPod Classic, uh, sorry, iPod Classic that I bought on eBay. This is the, uh, the finished article. So we've got all the paper on it, but if I peel back the front, you can see, oh, there's a camera. It is brand new. Um, wheel works so much faster when you've got a, an iFlash card in it. Uh, so basically I've put a new front, new back, there's an iFlash gone in it with a 64 gig SD card. This was originally a 30 gig iPod um, and I've done this so I can sell it on, on eBay uh, as a modded part. Uh, obviously that one is used because it is used, it won't be brand new. Um, although all the parts are brand new and it looked brand new. Uh, but because of selling things you have to put it on as used. So this is a video of me modding it. Uh, you can see how I've done it and I hope you enjoy it okay so I last did a video on an iPod that I had fixed and I was waiting for some modded parts to come well they've all come today so in here we have a custom purple front cover custom purple front cover and that one we have a custom red front cover I'm going to use a purple one today uh, in here a nice to open these so in here we have a few new click wheels in grey and white but I won't be using the white button I'm going to use the purple button that's come with that one so they'll be got, one of them will be going on it I've got a new custom back case brand new oh and it's uh, it's blue backing it's another one there when I get the other one done uh, I have also got some new cables for it obviously I'm going to have to transfer the headphone set into there so I'll be doing that as well and I've also got some new batteries <laughs> Yeah, here's a brand new battery as well so we're going to be fitting that as well so you've all seen these taken apart before so I'm going to take it apart again and then we'll start from scratch to make the holes meet if you don't want any gaps another screw That is a good fit that case. So we've just three more on this side now. screwed in that but I was looking at the side I'd already screwed in. Screw that one in. Oh I think that's the wrong screw actually that's, that's a bigger screw. Draft Aper. first and we'll put this end one in Mm, there we go 
sorted. Okay, so that's the casing on. So I'm going to put the ugly display cable back in. Little bell down carefully, okay. All right, we're going to get our eye flash now. Make sure the little bell is back on that because it's just like fitting a, a normal hard drive and get the cable into the flash drive. Oops. Which is sometimes a bit fiddly. There we go, I think that's gone in now. Make sure it's right in. Let's come out again. Let me spudge you. Push. And again. Oh, in. oh, there we go. Went in straight away there. Okay, push that little barrel down. Now you can see there I've got a little sponge piece on top there that comes with the eye flash card you get a couple of them all it is is the case will press on that and it won't move in there then it'll be absolutely secure the one thing I will do though uh, as the SD card is uh, clicks in slightly to the, the motherboard I'm going to a little bit of captain tape across the uh, across the card so it doesn't move it just make sure it doesn't move you don't want it coming out once you close it all up okay so that's that in so now what we need to do is put our new battery in and here's the new battery Right, where's our cover? So the new battery is going to fit in there. Let's just make sure it fits. You know what, that looks like a bigger battery, that. Nope, fine, it fits. It fits, right. We took the 3M scotch off the back and place it in the end there, making sure it's within that gap. Brilliant. And then I'm going to lift that, peel that back so we can put the headphone. That bell's up in it, yeah. Slot the headphone cable in, push the bell back. That's locked in. Put your head put your hard drive back and then we are going to bend at the battery terminal so it faces down towards the battery connection and place that in oh. a bit hard when they, when they knew these there we go battery connection's in I'll we'll turn it over if we've got anything on it. That need a bit of juice actually. Let's get the uh out. Put this in. Plug it in. It's coming on now. There you go, all on. Definitely working. All been modded up. So what I'll do, I'll 
finish shutting it up and then I'll do a last bit on it when it's all closed up. Right, I thought you might want to see this. So it's all together. This is the best bit. Peel off the front. Take that bit of tape off the wheel. And there we go. And it's a nice little iPod this. It's got games on it, it's got all sorts. Um, I'm going to be putting this up for sale on eBay now. Um, nice little modded iPod. As you can see, the back is absolutely spotless and I'm going to leave the, the film on that for that very reason. But yeah, all sorted. Nice little job. Uh, see what it fetches now. Anyway, hope you like the video. See you on the next one.